Hi guys, I'm Sheena over here at Teton Raptor Center and I'm here to give you all an update on all of the patients that we currently have in care and are treating in our rehab facility. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to start things off, we have our American Kestrel that came in back in July. Um, this bird is the one that is going to be transferred over to a center in North Carolina. Um, right now we're still waiting on the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service approval paperwork, which definitely can take some time. So in the meantime, while we still have this kestrel, we are getting him out on glove and handling him the same way that we would handle one of our own Ed birds. So he's getting used to the glove and getting comfortable, getting weighed on the glove and being around people and he is doing great. Next up we have our great gray owl, 1010, came in back in October. Um, and this bird is doing really well. He still has a significant right wing droop, um, but we have been flying him on the creance line a minimum of three times a week, and that seems to be really helpful. Um, as soon as we put him back in his enclosure after his flight training, he has a lot better self-carriage with that right wing. So we're hoping that the more exercise this bird gets, the better he will do. Um, then down here, we've got our other American Kestrel 1012. And this bird is still dealing with some nerve damage in that right wing. However, we have been uh, just recently starting to fly this bird on a creance line and we were all super impressed with his flight. It is a lot better than we had expected it would be considering the nerve damage. So we're really hopeful that things will continue to look up for him um, and we're going to stick with the course for flying. Then we've got our Great Horn 1030. This is the bird that was readmitted to TRC um, and came in emaciated. So luckily he is gaining weight really nicely and doing well. We have recently upped his food amount so that he's gradually going to be getting a little bit more food every week. And we're gonna continue to stay the course with this bird. Then next up we have Great Horned Owl 115 and this is the bird that unfortunately has rebroken his wing just in a really small area close to his wrist. It's a little hairline fracture so um, we expect that it's going to heal really well and that it won't impede flight in any way. However, this bird is in a wrap right now and has some little tiny wounds on both of his wrists that we are working on lasering and keeping nice and clean. Um, so this bird has a ways to go before he's ready for flight training. We're kind of waiting on that wing to heal, but we plan on taking x-rays soon to see how much progress he's made. And then last but not least, we have Great Horned Owl 118. And this bird is doing great. He is going to start flight training this weekend, so we're really excited for that. Um, we removed his sutures just a few weeks ago, and um, all of the damage that's on his wings is fully healed. Um, he does, however, have a little cloudy precipitate matter on one of his eyes, so we had um, our vet, Dr. Lorimer, come out and take a look at this bird's eyes and he has decided to start this bird on a course of eye drops um, that we are giving three times a day and hopefully we'll be able to bump it down to two times a day in a couple days. Um, but so far he's doing really well and we are excited to get him flying soon also. Okay, so that's it for all of our updates. Thank you all for tuning in this week to hear about our birds. If you'd like more information, you can go to tetonraptorcenter.org to check in on all of our patients, as well as to see photos and learn more about the other things that we're doing here at the center. Thank you all again for tuning in, and I will see you next week.